Uh, a government cannot say, by this time we will accomplish this, we will accomplish this. It's a continuous process. All that matters is that you work at it, you stay on it. Well, uh, you said that some, there are some variables that are not in the control of government. I believe that's the context you were speaking. So help Nigerians understand, what are those variables that are out of your hand? You know, for instance, you look at the entire Sahel region, from Mauritania to Burkina Faso to uh, Mali to Niger to Nigeria. See, all that is happening in terms of armed banditry, in terms of killers. Many times the president has explained these things, that a lot of the people that Gaddafi used to entrench himself in government for over 42 years were taught nothing but to shoot and kill. And then when Gaddafi fell, they dispersed with their weapons. And they are all over the Sahel, causing mayhem, killings, because that's the only thing they need to do. And it's not peculiar to Nigeria. It's along the entire belt. So it is not within the control of the government totally. And it is not peculiar to Nigeria alone. Small arms are everywhere. Everywhere in this country, small arms. How do you begin to mop up those small arms? Remember what happened during the NSAS campaign? You know how many police stations were invaded? You know how many arms and ammunition ended in wrong hands? So those, these are some of the challenges that come up from time to time. Therefore, until those challenges are surmounted in one way or the other, you cannot just pontificate and say, uh, at a time like this, we will stop this. All well, that matters is continue to work at it.